it's a beautiful beautiful day it's a beautiful day drop this motor down this boat yeah now about got it all prepped yeah, to put in right here one. and probably 70 percent of these wires are not even going to get used um, a whole bunch of it is dealing with all the electronics for that gas motor and we don't have near as much stuff i wouldn't say quite 70 percent, but i bet 50 percent of it's not used seriously all right then i've got these two battery boxes right here and i'm going to eliminate just this regular old battery tray that it had here and we'll have dual battery boxes and only had a single before whoo well, i've been out here working on this thing by myself and i almost got the engine down in here it's just floating there right now see me working on it like a monkey here using my toes i've done become filipino i should just sit down at this one yeah just sit down at that mount and it's just best set at this one as well I'm really excited working on this boat down in here uh, to get this engine down in here today. All right, so let's look here what's in this box that I ordered. Tell you what, I am just loving, loving Amazon being delivered in Philippines now. Philippine government, thank you for opening your eyes up and allowing some new things to come in so we can get some really amazing product here in the country now so we'll show here what we've got going here so you see this says it is a hydraulic to bolt electric conversion kit use your existing wiring rocker switch and trim tabs so what we got in here well we got the little controller unit right here for it got the the little mounts and we got hardware and instructions uh, we got some connectors right here uh, what else we got um, and more mounting hardware now let's get down in here to where the magic lies boom there they are Bennett Marine and you tell me if you've had any experience with Bennett Marine um, what you think about the products good bad have you ever had any experience with these electric trim tabs converting from hydraulic um, let me know tell me all about what you think about it there is a harness kit that i got um, that i may just go ahead and run a new harness the whole way it's really what i'm thinking about doing um, i wanted it where it would just go ahead and plug up most of the way right here with this controller i hope so yep there's the there's the plug everything for it there's the other end so that's what i'm hoping for all right now i'm gonna walk down with one of these and show on the back of the boat what it does and right here on the back of the boat is where it goes now it's supposed to be a drop-in replacement looks like it is it's supposed to be a drop-in replacement right here they're just a little bit bigger around and there you see right there these are hydraulic got a hydraulic pump inside got hydraulic lines all of that good mess and then a controller that activates little solenoids click 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 sometimes solenoids go bad um, i'm gonna update this baby yep I'm gonna update it bring it into the new century it is a rainy day and I'm wanting to get down in here and align this motor and uh, get it on, bolt it down, and get the chain hoist out of the way. And yes, I said align it because I've got to drill a, maybe one new hole on each side on the motor mounts. And uh, I need to make sure that it's centered on the boat and center line where the shaft comes through. So I have to do some pretty precise measurements in here and get this thing well lined up before I drill those motor mounts in and set them. And I prefer not to be all down in there wet and it raining on me when I do it. But I don't have a cover here yet. Materials around front, but it's not here yet. So I wanna show you this here real quick on the diesel. 
that's got to have a return back into the tank. So here it is right here. Oh man, it is. It's it. It's perfect. Perfect. And then I need to get this thing tightened down in there good. And so this will be the suction. Now this has got a check valve in it so that the fuel don't siphon back to the tank, especially that's so important on the diesel. So uh, this has got a check valve in it and then this here is just a return so it's no biggie. No biggie. And that 5.7 liter with all that water pump and big old thick pulleys and harmonic balancer and all that stuff that stuck way out front of that motor well it stuck out way up here so bottom line is is if you've ended up with probably about a foot more of space in the front right here on the engine back up here going through some wiring again um, i want to get all the lights in these gauges working best i can and then the little lights on all the switches as well and so these are a positive and negative on the switch on each one of these at the top positive and negative so as I was looking and chasing out some of these wires, first I found a wire here that's not connected right here. And well, you can tell it goes on a post type terminal like this right here. So you know it goes to one of these gauges. Then I was looking at all these blue wires. These are light wires. Everything that's blue on this boat goes to a light, okay? And I was looking at that and that says send. You know, that's a signal. This is the RPM gauge and that's a signal on the RPM gauge and it tells here all about adjusting the pulses and everything right here and this is the light LT the light somebody has put these on the wrong post yeah on the wrong post that belongs up here and this belongs up here on the light post yeah and uh, that means I need to find a little nut like this, an extra one. And I'll need to tighten all this down. Actually, I see an extra one over here on another fixture. Um, and that means that before I do it, though, that one of these loose ones like this right here, it may be the one I'll go to the wiring diagram in my book. But this might be the one that goes here. I'm not going to connect it without knowing. But the blue one, see here, this blue here goes to the light, just to the light, that's the light bulb, to the light, light bulb, and then it would be to the light here for the light bulb, and so on. All the blues are for light. Somebody flat out had that in the wrong spot. Yeah, just don't know what they're doing. Tampering with stuff, they don't know what they're doing. Got one little socket missing right here, and once again, I've got a wire hanging loose, and I've got two posts here that are empty a post here empty and you see no that one's got the wire underneath it's just kind of turned funny but this post empty i'd almost bet this one goes here but i'm wanting to update these gauges but i still want to sort all the wiring even prior to changing them so that i can test everything and make sure everything's uh all jive all good I am down in here working on the wiring on this boat. Now this is the harness right here off the 5.7 liter. Now you see what a mess this is. And look what a nice clean setup right here for the diesel even with it unwrapped. Just super clean setup for the diesel. So this is the whole harness coming off the engine right here. And this is the plug that had all and the wires that was cut out of the other boat back in Boston that went up to the dash and all right there just that clean now this is the plug for the 5.7 and it plugs in on the harness right here so what I need to do is just make me a little cut these all down and just make me a little adapter going from here to here using this plug so what I need to do here right now is eliminate all the wires off here that I know right off the bat are not needed for this diesel engine. This diesel don't have all of that. Like I say, it's very clean cut. And actually, I could just go ahead and just clip everything in two right here. Just every bit of it. All right, so this is what I'm left down to right here. 
and all of this mess here can now go bye bye go bye bye and this will end up being my pigtail and i'll make sure i put it together with a lot of quality for the sake of having working space i took that water tank out this is the strap for it right here it has a little rubber pad on the back side of it aluminum a couple screws kind of funny man just everything's rigged on this boat they had this in here for the plug on the tank with a piece of plastic bag over the end of it and lightly screwed in there just enough to use that like a plug that is pretty pathetic but it is a good chance right now to clean the tank i can clean underneath where the tank was at because every time you think you have something clean you don't and it was holding dirt underneath there and i'm looking at maybe relocating that tank just a little bit because it's narrowing my space from the corner of it there to here to get back in here and work around the motor um no bigger than that tank is i don't think it's going to change the weight distribution much if i moved it all the way back right there it's got about eight inches back if it scoot it back that eight inches with a geometry it would give me a huge difference right here for getting in there well, it's about 6 30 in the evening the guys finished up their projects here on the house and went home at about five o'clock and i took a little break and hung out with melinda and ate some good food she cooked me earlier today and now i'm back out here to the boat again right back on this wiring um i'm really determined to get all of this done and i'm going to get busy getting those wires spliced together um, I've got some waterproof terminals that butt connectors that I brought from the United States um, These right here after you connect them up you heat shrink them. It's already made with a heat shrink on each end so put them on there and then just uh, Apply some heat to it and they draw right up on there This is the fuel filter, which is a very common fuel filter a little pump on a lot of Japanese engines um, it's also got a water separator and a water sensor down here on the bottom This right here. I want to make sure that I always have on board Extra canisters for and I need to check that often down there There was a viewer that had a very legitimate comment He was uh, very concerned about me getting all the sludge out of that tank and I tell you what I like it when somebody gives a very solid legitimate comment i like funny comments too but i like legitimate comments and he had a legitimate comment because he said if i didn't get all that sludge out of there and it picks it up and it clogs up fuel filter and i'm up by these islands with these currents and you know i'm out there drifting like dead weight that you know that could become very dangerous you could end up on the rocks or anything like that right and he could not be more true now I didn't show everything and you know I'm lacking a little bit giving you guys all the detail and I apologize for that but I have that little endoscope camera the one that was supposed to be 5.5 meters long and they sent it it's like 2.5 meters long but I did shine it in the tank and the tank was really clear so I've been down in here I set the battery in the old battery box for now I'll be putting new ends on all of these but I'm trying to get the wiring all rounded sorry here get down in here so i got the two main grounds grounded on the block right here and they're just grounds everywhere like you see one hanging there all around those all have to get in their place and properly grounded it's all looking good i need to go over to the other side now and work over there down here on the other side of the motor now Trying to see where the, there it is, the positive is. Right there. And as you can see right here in the edge of the picture, there's more grounds that need to be hooked up. Get that up out of my way. These are old fuel lines that'll get replaced. I just stuck that old fuel line on here to test run it before. Come 
up and go on the starter right there. You can see the starter load. It'll be going on right there. I need to find the best way to route it. You keep it out of all the shift linkage that'll be right here. All right, I'm making a little progress here. Um, I got all the grounds everywhere tied up in the back. All of them. I've got the battery connected up. Every, actually, everything's connected up except I need to get it all going up to the dash now. But I do have power here. I could start the motor if the fuel lines were connected. You see, that's the fuel cutoff. Hold on. If I want to you can see well I've been down here connecting up these wires on this harness it's going great so far and I wanted to show you that I'm not just using a little old hand crimper like this yeah I'm not using just a little hand crimp tool like this to crimp the connectors on this I actually have this hydraulic tool right here it's got different size dies in it for different size connectors and and it puts a nice, strong, solid squeeze all the way around 100%. And you get a rock solid set on your wires right there. And then these are heat shrink ends. And all I have to do is heat each end up. And it sucks it right down and seals it. So I just want to show you that. This is a tool that I have uh, connecting up like my battery cables and stuff. Making them up for my solar.